what I'd like to address now is consumerism. As I see it, as a lot of people see it, consumerism is one of the major obstacles to making actual progress. Um, to consume, to be materialistic and to want to acquire this or that entertainment system, DVD player, uh, computer, uh, car, whatever it is, this technology or even a bigger house or a better swimming pool. We don't need these things. I can't stress that enough. We don't need these things. And the goals that we have are incredibly transient. It's incredibly easy to achieve these material goals. And these, the, the goals of the consumer. We earn money, we spend the money, we get the stuff, we throw the stuff away. That's what needs to stop. And that is what stands in the way of progress. What we should be doing is anticipating developments in the long term, not in 10 years time or, you know, the political scale is, you know, a couple of times a decade. What we should be doing is anticipating developments 10 generations down the line, a few hundred years. What we should be doing is not struggling with popularity contests, but struggling, or rather having achieving some degree of development over the years, over the decades, over the generations. Because we're not going to solve the problems that we've got as a culture, or even the material problems that we've got with energy reserves or, or, or peak oil or any of these things, the food supply problem, the food chain, we're not going to solve those problems looking 10 years down the line. And we're certainly not going to solve those problems looking to the next election or the next, um, the next poll result. What we need to do is look many generations down the line, say 10 generations down the line, great, 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 great. grandchild. Um, and the solution is to take a step back and to reflect and to retreat and look at what we're doing and look at what can be achieved and also to accept where we fail. In other words, to accept that we can't achieve everything. We cannot achieve a positive result in all these things. We have to accept failure, we have to accept tragedy. That is part of life. And I think that part of the problem with our culture, with many cultures down the generations, is that we do have this obsession with youth and vitality. And we link those two together, the vitality and the youth. You don't get a sense of maturity and a sense of distance when you're young, generally not universally true, of course not, and we do tend to idealise the youthful, and this, this leads to short-term thinking. Before you have children, you have a very different perspective, and I'm sure that before you have grandchildren, you also have a very different perspective on life and on what can be achieved, um, and, and what realistic or, or goals are, or, and what values are. And so I think what we need to do in order to move forward, to move beyond consumerism, is to take that step back and look at life as it is lived and appreciate that we will die. I will die, you will die, your children will die, your children's children will die. The goals that we need to have are 10 generations, as I say, down the line, a few hundred years. Um, to aim at achieving anything else in a shorter period of time is unrealistic and it's counterproductive to have 